It's that let you go, no shame on the flow Yeah, 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 yeah It's that let The first Americans may have arrived 130,000 years ago. Is the conventional chronology of human migration little more than a house of cards? Maybe. And there's a strong wind, or at least a tantalizing breeze, blowing in from Southern California, where researchers say they have evidence that the first Americans may have arrived on the continent almost ten times earlier than we thought. And here's another kicker. The first humans in the Americas may not have been Homo sapiens. The results, published today in Nature, came out of several different lines of inquiry, all leading to the same stunning conclusion, a partial mastodon skeleton unearthed near San Diego appears to have been processed by some kind of hominin about 130,000 years ago. To put this in context, Right now the generally accepted arrival date for humans in the Americas from Siberia, via the land bridge Birinia is a mere 15,000 years ago. There have been a handful of sites from Brazil and Chile to the Great Plains of the US. Suggesting human activity up to 40,000 years ago, but academic opinion on the legitimacy of those sites is deeply divided. This is the kind of brain shock that, once you shake off the initial surprise, questions go stampeding through your head like a bunch of spooked mastodons. So let's take it one step at a time. What we do here is go back, 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 back. The site in question, along State Route 54 in San Diego County, was discovered during highway construction in 1992. Known as the Chiruti Mastodon site, the area was first identified as paleontologically significant when an excavator unearthed partial animal remains in an upper layer. Construction halted, paleontologists came in and started digging down. And, more than 3 meters below the surface, they found a partial mastodon skeleton in a much older layer. And that's when it gets weird. The mastodon remains were laid out in a way that would not make sense if the animal just dropped dead, was brought down by a predator and or later scavenged. The bones appeared to be arranged in clusters. For example, both heads of the femurs, long bones in the leg, were sitting side by side. One of the tusks was vertical, penetrating the older sedimentary layers as if someone had stuck it upright in the ground. That stuff just doesn't happen in nature. What's more, several of the bones were broken. Specifically, they were spirally fractured. This is a kind of break that would only happen with fresh bone when it's struck a certain way. Also, some of the breaks occurred in big, robust, sturdy bones not usually busted up during the natural process of being buried and fossilized. The kinds of breakage found were not consistent with a carnivore munching on the bones, or with a herd of heavy beasties trampling the unfortunate mastodon, alive or dead. The team, which has grown over the years as the initial researchers added colleagues from other disciplines, claims that the damage to the bones is the same as breakage found in one. 5 million year old elephant bones in Africa that were processed by hominins. 
Some of the researchers also traveled to Tanzania to conduct experiments on the bones of a recently deceased elephant and found the breaks in both the Chiruti mastodon and the modern elephant were identical. The researchers took years to analyze the bones, date the samples and surrounding rocks and replicate the damage. One big reason that the results are coming out a quarter century after the Chiruti Mastodon was unearthed. Then there are the rocks and specifically, the cobbles. Five large stones that the authors believe were used as hammer stones and anvils to process the carcass. The presence of these stones in Bone Betty, where the Mastodon remains were deposited is unexpected because the layer is fine-grained silt. It's what geologists and paleontologists consider a low-energy deposition environment. There was no raging river here when the mastodon met his end, just a gentle stream.